Here are five things you should know about the summer real estate market here in Central Iowa. My name is Misty Metchke and I'm a realtor with Hunts Kern Associates and we're gonna do a deep dive into the market data so you know what to expect. Number one, great news, we're starting to see a lot more homes come on the market. If you remember back this spring, here in Eames, we only had 46 homes for sale. And the great news in July, it's nearly doubled. We're almost at 90 homes. Now, as a frame of reference, if we go back to about 2018, 2019, we had nearly 200 homes for sale. So we're still pretty low with our inventory. Number two, for our buyers, all of these new homes come on the market are giving them lots of choices. And what we're seeing is every month as more homes come on the market, we're seeing more homes that are going sell pending. In January, we sold about 40 homes. And in June, we saw about 70 homes go sell pending. Great news is that homes are selling in all price ranges. Our most popular price point is any home under 300,000. And that's because it appeals to a wide variety of buyers. This is where we are seeing our first time home buyers. And it's also where we're seeing people that are looking to downsize as well. And this price point is also where we are seeing multiple offers and these homes can sell very quickly, often in just a day or two. On the other hand, homes priced over 400,000 tend to compete with new construction. And at this price point, we have a lot more homes available, which is great news for the buyers because they can be a little bit more picky choosing which home they want. But as a seller, what this means is you may want to invest in some types of home updates and it also means that the home is likely going to be on the market just a little bit longer. Number three, the new normal. Interest rates are stabilizing. They are bouncing around any day between 6 and 7%. Now, this is still quite a bit higher than we were last year, but we're still seeing a lot of homes sell despite these higher interest rates. Number four, with these higher interest rates, we are seeing sellers who are thinking about moving, but they're doing a little bit of this thought process where, hey, I really want to move. I like the idea of moving to a different home or closer to family, but they're weighing it with the fact that they're going to have to give up this lower interest rate that they're going to have to pay. And what that has done is reduced the number of homes that are coming on the market. Here at Eves, what that means is that the number of homes that have been put on the market is 18% less than what we saw last year. Number five, with this pressure on home prices, I expect that the price appreciation this year it's probably gonna be somewhere around four to 6%. What it also means is that the average time to sell a home is staying incredibly short. The average time on market is six days. What should you expect if you are thinking about buying or selling a home? Well, first, we are starting to get into a bit of our seasonal market, which means there's fewer and fewer buyers and I always tell all my clients that October, November, December, January is an excellent time to buy a home because this is your opportunity to negotiate the best deal any time of the year. The second thing that we're expecting is the experts are predicting the interest rates are going to go down. In fact, they're expecting by 2024 that our interest rates are probably going to be somewhere between five and a half, six percent. And there's kind of this phrase in the real estate world that I'll share with you. It's called marry the house, date the rate. The idea is when you find the perfect house, go ahead, put an offer on it at a price that you're comfortable with. And if and when those interest rates do drop at that point in time, it'd be a great opportunity to refinance. So well, that's my two cents. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to drop a message before and make sure that you like and subscribe so you can catch our next real estate video. Have a good one.